It's like it. This is part two. Back at it. All right. So we went over that. So every idle word. Remember, you're gonna be accountable. So y'all causing hate, splitting up, separate, cool, whatever. Now, every idle word. So we went over love, right? We went over hate. Let's go over confusion. Let's get this. This is 1 Corinthians 14.33. For God, Yahweh, is not the author of confusion, but of peace, as in all churches of the saints. So if he's not the author of confusion, wouldn't it be confusion if he said that, hey, the herbs of the field are for the healing of the nation, and you say that it's not. Let's get it. Remember, you got to stay in the spirit. Okay, this is in the end of the Bible. This is Revelations, the revealing. So you guys are getting mad because people are bringing forth the herbs of the field, which are going to be within what? The last days, because this is the book of Revelations, right? The revealing to reveal, right? Okay, so this is Revelations 2, 2, 2. In the midst of the streets, in the midst of the street of it, and on either side of the rivers, was there the tree of life, which bare twelve manners of fruits and yielded her fruit every month? And the leaves of the tree were the healing of the nations. Okay, the leaves of the trees were the healing of the nation. It doesn't say the fruit, it says the leaves, right? All right. Let's get that. So it's talking about herbs right there. It's talking about plants. This is Genesis 1 and 29. So that was talking about the trees. This is in Revelation. That's in the end. It was talking about a tree, right? Okay, saying that the leaves were for the healing of the nations. And Yahweh said, Behold, I have given you every herb bearing seed. What is seed? You guys want me to pull up seed? Let's pull up seed. Because I don't want you guys to say nothing fucking retarded. Seed. That which may be sown. Of individual grain of seed, offspring, offspring, posterity, seed. All right. So, offspring. Let's make sure we're on the same page. Spores. Let's make sure we're on the same page. Spore, reproductive body in flowerless plants. 
Men, do you have flowers? Uh oh, sowing spores, a sowing seed spore, a seed, a sowing seed time. Come on. Here we go, spore. You know what spores are? A reproductive body of a flowerless plant. So that's the male, right? The male is flowerless. Have you ever grown marijuana? The male is flowerless, right? Let's look up sperm. I just want to make sure we're on the same page. Seed. Semen. The seed of plants and animals. Literally, that which is sown. Okay, so now y'all still trying to say, I, I don't want to hear no bullshit that we didn't go over seed. Do you understand that? I don't want to hear that bullshit, okay? All right? So we went over that. Just make sure you know. So once again, back over here to Genesis. Bearing seed. So mushrooms bear seeds. Because they have spores. Because mushrooms are what? Male. Damn. Damn. Why? Because they don't what? Flower. Because they're flowerless. Damn. And wait a minute. Hold on. Let me get that verse so you know. Because you pull up this verse, you know, you. I want to make sure you know what you're talking about. You said it was like, where's it at, man? Where's that verse? I might have took a picture of it or some shit. <laughs> Um, all flesh corners corner. Okay. Um. I want that one. I want the verse that that Ock used. Because he said, to its liking, you guys said some retarded shit. It doesn't have seeds. What are spores, bro? You got to understand this word. That's why it says, hold on, let me pull the verse so y'all don't say, oh, well, you got to pull verses. You got to pull verses. Got to pull verses because, you know, we can't just tell you what the verse is because y'all, for some reason, y'all ain't going to understand. Second Timothy 2 and 15. Study to show, Sue, thyself unproved unto who? Yahweh. So we ain't really got to prove shit to y'all. If y'all don't understand it, we don't have to prove shit to you when we study it. We study to show ourselves approved to Yahweh. Remember, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed. So we shouldn't be ashamed by telling you guys about the herbs of the field. If we studied and we're telling you about it, then we studied it. But you would listen to somebody else that went to college and say, hey, I went to college. This is what it is. Rightly divided the word of the truth. So um, dividing the, the word of the truth. So I guess uh, we're dividing the word of the truth. From you guys, is that what we're doing? Okay. Let's pull the other verse so you so y'all don't think we stupid. <laughs> Here we go. This is in the bot in the end time. Cause he said knowledge shall increase. So do I gotta pull that too? Let's pull that so y'all don't Try to fucking say, oh, that's not what it's saying. So you know we're in the last days.
We'll just pull out the verses so you just fucking get it. it. Says Daniel 12 and 4. But thou, O Daniel, shut up the words and seal the book. Even to the time of the end, we're in the end times, many shall run to and fro. Which a lot of y'all running here and there. Trying to say, oh, this is not what it is. This is what it is. Instead of sticking to what the word says. And knowledge shall be increased. So we're in that day where knowledge shall be increased. Why? Because there's, guess what? There's the internet. It says, Revelation 1 and 3. Blessed is he that readeth. It doesn't say blessed is she. Blessed is he that readeth. They, that they hear the words of this prophecy. Okay, it's talking about the prophecy. Talking about this is in the last days, Revelation is revealing. Talking about who, who reads and who's learning because it's going to come in handy, especially during Jacob's trouble, to have all this knowledge and keep those which are written therein for thy time is at hand. Okay. We're talking about therein what? The word, talking about the law, statutes, and commandments, talking about the laws, Proverbs. Yeah, yeah, I want to, but hold on, let's let's pull something up so I can show you how much of a fucking hypocrite you guys are, and you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. How many of you motherfuckers have a wife right now? She wasn't a virgin when you met her. It doesn't matter. You'd be like, well, we wasn't in the truth. You're in the truth now, so you're still committing adultery, right? You're supposed to put her away, right? If she's not yours, she's not yours. What you doing sleeping with her? Y'all want to be like, oh, oh, you, you're not in the truth. No, nigga, you're not in the truth. It says those who have wives shall be as they have none. Remember, oh, let me pull that so y'all don't fucking try to change shit up. Because this, remember, I keep telling y'all, you got to teach the right and the left-hand side. This is even if you do, you married your wife and she was a virgin. And guess what? You, she still, if she's not trying to follow in the ways of Yahweh by Shem and Shai, it's going to be as you don't have a wife. So, come on, let's get it. This 1 Corinthians 7 and 29. But this I say, brethren, the time is short. It rem, it rem, it rem, it remaineth. The, that both they have wives that both you get what I'm saying both the nigga who has a wife who's committing adultery because you don't have a bill of divorce and the man who has a wife who had her as a virgin and she's not following underneath him so uh, <laughs> that have wives <laughs> that both that both they that have wives be though they or be though they had none. Yeah. Right? Okay, so you get it? Let me read it one more time. 1 Corinthians 7 and 29. But this I say, brethren. Brethren. Achium. Brethren. The time is short. The time is short. It remaineth. That both. They that have wives. That both, they that have wives, the ones that think you have a wife, but you don't have a bill of fucking divorce, and the ones that married their wives when they were virgins, both of you, because you don't have a wife, because you don't have a bill of divorce, even if she is trying to follow in the law, statutes, and the commandments, she's not yours, and for you that have a wife, and you're trying to keep these laws, statutes, and commandments, and she's not. <laughs> that both, they may, they, that both, that, that both, they that have wives, be as they have none. Okay, let's make sure you get it. So that's talking about you. All right, let's get it. Come on, bro. Let's get it. <laughs> let, let me make sure you know that you're committing adultery, though. Um, 
Okay. So this is Matthew 5 and 31. It hath been said, Whosoever shall put away his wife, let him give her a written her a written of divorcement. So did she come to you with a letter of written of divorcement? No, she did not. So she's not put away. Even if she committed adultery, if that guy didn't give her a divorce letter, she's not divorced. You commit an adultery. Let me get it. Let's get it. This is Deuteronomy 24 and 1. And y'all can't come up with that bullshit and be like, well, that was the Old Testament. <laughs> don't go, don't come with no bullshit. You know what I mean? Y'all want to talk shit. You fuck. Come on then. Y'all want to talk shit. And be like, oh, people ain't in the spirit. Actually, we fucking being nice to you. By letting you guys know this information about the herbs. And the healing. Because we want you guys to heal and be strong. Because we realize that when we've joined a lot of these camps. A lot of people have started getting issues. Because why? You tell people, oh, that's the devil. Oh, that's wicked. The, oh, you can't do that. That's unrighteous. You say shit like that. Like, you can't go running. That's wicked. You sound like the Pharisees. Remember that. Even though there was good Pharisees and there was bad Pharisees. Like I said, there's a left hand and a right hand side to everything. You got to preach both so people understand. If you're preaching the truth, you got to teach both so people have understanding. So they have overstanding. You just say, oh, nigga, that's wicked. Why is it wicked? Prove that it's wicked. Show that it's wicked. And show the righteous side to it. Because running, remember, first of all, our people, so-called Hebrews, have high blood pressure. Why? Because they got a lot of fucking salt in them. Why? Because you want to season every fucking thing. I don't even like my food seasoned. I like the way my food tastes raw. But lately, I've been putting a lot of shit up on it. I ain't going to lie. Deuteronomy 24. <sighs> When a man have taken a wife, you know what the word taken means. It means if you take, to rape, to take, same thing, same difference. The word take means rape. Same shit, backwards, word, same words. When you take a wife, when you have sex with her, to lay down, and married her, and it come to pass that she find no favor in his eyes because he hath found some uncleanness in her uh oh then let him write her a bill of divorce what is uncleanness she's committed adultery you can't just put her away because she's wicked she talked back you can send her ass actually you can though fuck that yes you can if that bitch talking shit you could put her away because there's a king in this bible that did the same thing and you tell me that a wicked ass king could put Put a bitch away, but we can't fuck that. If she's that far off you, how about shooting your shot and trying to pull you off, get rid of that bitch. And give it in her hand and send her out the house. Get the fuck out of here, bitch. And when she, she is departed out the house, she may go to another man's house. Go be another man's wife. Boom. See that? And if let her husband hate her, and write her a bill of divorcement. What did that say? Did that say anything else? It said if he hates her. Hate. So fuck that. So y'all be like, oh, you can't put her away. Bitch, it says right here. And if the later husband hate her, the only time you can't put her away is if you had raped her. And she was a virgin. And she was 50 shekels. $13.96 American. Okay? 50 shekels. Let me show you again. 50 shekels. You know what? I know y'all want to see this. Fifty shekels. Let me pull this shit up for y'all slownesses. Oh shit. These bitches went up in price because last week it was thirteen dollars and ninety-six cents. This bitch went up. So it's fourteen dollars and twenty-five cents now for that coochie. Woo! That's a day right there. That that coochie, fourteen dollars twenty-five cents. So when y'all at the strip club and she trying to dance for ten dollars, uh-uh. 
$14.25 for the coochie. Just letting you know. That's for the coochie. I'm letting you know. For the coochie. That's $14.25. That is when you take a girl out to eat and you buy her some double cheeseburgers, you spend $3. It's not worth it. I mean, if she's already your wife because you already spent the $14, <clears throat> once you spend the $14.25, that's it. You that's it. You done. So did, let me let me prove that that's only for a virgin. So y'all can't be talking shit. Deuteronomy twenty two and twenty nine. Then the man that lay with her shall give unto the damsel's father fifty shekels of silver, and she shall be his wife, because he has humbled her. He may not put her away for all days. Boom. Only if she was raped and she was a virgin. So get that straight, Miss Fourteen Dollars. Miss Fourteen Dollars. Where's that one at? Okay, so if he hate her, so if he like, damn. So like y'all bitches that come in and y'all think y'all could come in the house now. You ain't no virgin. You got a kid. You didn't lay with some men. If a nigga hate you, he could get rid of your ass. So you could be like, no, it's not in the order. Nigga, it says it right there. If and if the later husband hate her, but first and foremost, before you even go into that house, bitch, do you have a letter of divorce? A bill of divorce? And I know y'all over there talking about don't be calling my wife a bitch. She's a bitch if she don't got one. I'm gonna say it like that. Come on, don't be a little simp now. Y'all wanna talk shit to other men. You're a fucking simp. You're a fucking bitch. Do you have the letter? Do you have that is not your wife? Right now you're making her into a whore. And you're so you're breaking another law right there. You're breaking another law. You're breaking another law. You're making her into a whore. You're breaking another law. That's not what that's talking about. That's talking about the wife's sister, my bad. You're making her to a whore. It says, There shall be no whore of the daughters of Israel, nor sodomites of the sons of Israel. And you're being a sodomite. Why? Because you're laying with another man's wife. You're getting another man's sperm on your dick. That is gay, nigga. That's gay. Yeah, go look in the mirror. Remember it says that you got to overlook yourself and judge yourself correctly. Nigga, it's better just to be with no one right now. That's why he says not to take a wife in this place. Does he not tell you? Remember, who says that? Yahweh Shai says not to take a wife. Since y'all want to listen and try to act like you know so much about the scriptures. Remember. Let's get it. Come on. This is Leviticus 21 and 7. They shall not take a wife that is a whore. Mm. What is your wife again? Did she give you a bill of divorce? Oh, no, 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 no. She didn't give you a bill of divorce. But you took this wife. She's a whore now. Because why is she a whore? She's sleeping around. You ain't got a bill of divorce. You're committing adultery. Yeah, yeah. Guess what? Both y'all niggas should be stoned. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But hey, you didn't know it before, so he's winking at you like, ah, ah, ah. But you learn it, ah, ah, ah. But you better stop sleeping with her wife. Because she ain't your wife, bro. Put that bitch away. That's why you got to understand Is it a wife? I think it's a woman. Let me find. 
Let me find that verse. You're not blessed because you got to have a virtuous wife. Who says whoever finded a wife find it a good thing? You found a whore. You didn't find no wife, bro. You found a whore. Man, I'm trying to... Where's that first? Well, there's a verse I'm trying to find. One of you, Akim, could put it down there if you know it. But it's like, blessed is he who escapes uh, out of a woman. Or who gets, uh, who gets delivered from a woman. You know, that's a deliverance. You know, you're blessed when you're, you're, you're taken out when a woman's not with you, right? Says, or whore or profane, neither shall they take a woman... Put away from her husband. What? So you took a woman that was put away from her husband. Damn. I didn't even get into the other stuff yet. The Most High still got me on this. I didn't even get to the other stuff that I want to put you to shame about. Come on, y'all. Y'all so in the truth. For he is holy unto his God. Mm. Dang. So uh, that bitch you sleeping with, that ain't your bitch. Boo 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 boo. <laughs> um, damn. It's kind of like it says, "Thou shalt not bring the hire of a whore." Are you not paying a bill for a woman? That is hiring a whore. Are you paying for her rent? You don't got this bill of divorce. You hired a whore. You were fucking literally some other dude's woman, but you have the audacity, the audacity to talk. <laughs> Oh, shit. To tell somebody that they a demon. Bro. We're just trying to tell you that y'all niggas is throwing stones. But guess what? Let me show you what the punishment for adultery is so y'all know. So y'all know, man. But y'all gonna be like, but we ain't in the kingdom. See, that's the that's the, the bullshit. Y'all gonna say some stupid shit like that. Watch, y'all gonna do that. This is a Leviticus 20 and 10. And the man that committed adultery with another man's wife, because that's what you're doing is fucking somebody else's wife, right? You over here paying all the bills. You hired a whore. You made her into a whore. So you didn't commit it. Three sins right there. Three sins. You didn't commit it. Three sins. You fucked somebody else's wife, which is adultery. You're hiring a whore. You done made her into a whore. And you don't got that bill of divorce. Oh, shit. Bro, you all right there off of one thing. And you broke. You ain't your brother's keeper no more. You ain't your brother's keeper, bro. Woo. <laughs> yo, you done made her into. Yo, bro. But y'all would have called somebody a demon. Right. Okay. It says. And the man that committed adultery with another man's wife, even he that committed adultery with his neighbor's wife, the adulterer and the adulteress shall surely be put to death. So guess what? Y'all both going to get put to death. Because now you know this. We're telling you this. We're literally telling you right now what it is. We're telling you. So have I, have I ever committed adultery? Yes. Because I didn't know. You know, at this, at that time, you know, even with my woman being my wife, my woman, even if we're married under the so-called Roman laws, where you're married, you're still breaking God's law. Remember that. Whose law comes first? <laughs> Remember that. Y'all be like, well, I'm married, you know, through, you following that Christianity bullshit. Remember. Remember, you got to get rid of her. You, you're hearing me tell you, you got to get rid of her. And you're probably still not going to do it. This is Psalms 118 and 8. It's better to trust in the Lord 
than to put confidence in man. So you put confidence in Esau's law. That's why it says what? You think you married. Let's make sure we get it. Make sure we get it because I want to make sure you understand fully. Just because you got that marriage license, remember, you're not even for you women, you're you're still a whore. All you did was run down to Egypt, you got a license to become a fuck, which fuck is not a bad word. It means fornicating under the consent of the king. So you got a license to be a fuck, to fornicate under the consent of the king, that man. Which you're still a whore because you don't have your bill of divorce from the very first guy that you slept with going on and on and on and on. Because a lot of you women have been with so many men, you're fucking destroyed, bro. You fucking riding that mirror go round. You fucking done. Fucking seesaw ass woman. So, and I ain't talking about you whores that been kidnapped. I Actually, you women that been kidnapped and been prostituted out i ain't talking about y'all i'm talking about these other niggas you know they think because they go get a ring you know the other dude wasn't good enough it's woe on to you death on to you i'm putting curses myself upon you when i read this i pray for you guys' death you know i've been there i've done the same thing or change you know i pray, you know that's that's not brotherly love because that, that's not brotherly let me show you some love look Look, repent. Either if you love that woman, have that woman go to her ex, get a bill of divorce. Woman, you need to go through all your exes, your so-called exes, and get a bill of divorce. Now, if he say you don't need to, that's his house. He going to get put to death and you going to get put to death. Hey, I don't actually tell you what to do because you ain't my woman. I'm just saying. You know what I mean? You ain't even his woman either, though. <laughs> so realistically, you ain't nobody's woman. You're you're not you're not his woman. Put it like that. <laughs> you're not. He thinks that you his woman, but he just hired you. He paying for your bills because you're a whore. You're a prostitute now. You just living in this house. You a fuck. Even if you got a ring on your finger, you a fuck. You became a fuck. You're fornicating under considered a king. Woe unto them that go down to Egypt for help. You think that oh that I don't want to look like a whore. So let me go down to Egypt. Let me go to these governments. Let me go ahead and get this bondage. Let me get this letter. Sign this document. <laughs> sign the document that makes it look like I'm not a whore. <clears throat> but what the Bible say? Rather to trust in who? Yahweh than to put your confidence in man, right? Mm. Didn't he say that that is adultery? That a man... Only a man could put his woman away. There ain't no way a woman could put her man away. Even if he was beating the shit out of you. <laughs> Yo. So let me. Let's, come on, Akin. Where y'all at? <laughs> I ain't even got to the good stuff yet. I'm just on this. Because y'all want to talk all that shit. Talk about people ain't in the spirit. Nigga. You still sinning daily. Yeah, nigga. We all fall short. Yep, but y'all niggas getting mad over the herbs. But let, let, let's let's go ahead and get back to the herbs. You know what? Let's get back to the herbs. You're right. I don't. I want. I want to. I want to hold y'all up because a lot of y'all ain't smart enough to get this shit. So fuck it. I don't want to waste your time. Let's go to healing. Uh, you know, since since y'all so smart and y'all read it right. What verse am I looking for? Um, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. oh, let's go back to the herbs. Yeah, you're right. There we go. We're on the herbs. The herb. You know, they call it the herb for a reason. <laughs> Let me, let's pull that shit up. <clears throat> let's pull them verses, bro. So we're in Genesis, correct? All right. So we're in Genesis. 
Because he gave us a strict dietary law. Oh, hold up, oh, hold up, hold up. Let's go back to Genesis I messed that up. I can't remember exactly what it is. <sighs> let's let's make sure we on this. So y'all, y'all, if y'all want to say no, it's not okay. Remember, Yahweh said it was okay. Genesis one and twenty nine, and Yahweh said, "Behold, I have given every okay, same thing, uh, every herb bearing seed." So every herb bearing seed, right? So if it bears seed, it's a herb, right? Every herb bearing seed. So that's weed. That's the cocoa leaf, the marijuana. The, hey, the herb bearing seed is the female, okay? Or I mean, it's the male. Every herb bearing flower is the female. So the flower turns to the fruit. The seed is the male. You guys getting it now? Are you are you starting to get wisdom? Because remember, it says we understand wisdom. We understand we understand science. Are you guys getting the knowledge? Come on. Which is up on the face of all the earth. <clears throat> nah, just up on the spot where you said it was at, right? Or did he say upon all the earth and every tree? Hold on. Just the ones that y'all say. And every tree mm, in which the fruit of the tree yielding seed. Damn, but how many of you guys actually go out and buy seedless watermelon? Hmm. How many of you guys go out and buy seedless oranges? See, watermelon don't grow in trees, do it? So remember, every herb which is up on the face of all the earth. Boom, right there. Which is on the face of all the earth. Uh, shit. Which is on the face of all the earth. Uh, shit. Damn. And every tree. Damn. It's funny how a mushroom shaped like a tree, ain't it? Shit. And which is... The, and, and the which is the fruit of the tree yielding seed. To you it shall be for me. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Didn't that nigga say that the mushrooms was chicken and waffles? Damn. And didn't Moses say it be as bread? Damn. Damn. Wait a minute. Let's pull that verse. Hold up, let's let's pull the verse. So when you on mushrooms, because we want to make sure we're correct, it's whatever's in your mind, right? We just pulled that shit. Now y'all can be like, nah, 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 nah. You wrong, you wrong, you wrong. Y'all gonna need to shut the fuck up, like seriously. And for y'all to be like, yo, the Most High is marking you. No, we already told you, He's marking you. <laughs> We're trying to teach you about the healing. He said to eat the whole roll. Not the parts that you want. He said up on all of the earth. Remember? Oh, hold up, baby. Come on. This is Proverbs 23. As a matter of fact. I can't remember. There's a verse about somebody stealing another man's. She goes and says, hey, your son stole my whatever. But this is Proverbs 23 and 7. For as, a man, for as he thinketh in his heart, which is his mind, so is he. 
Eat and drink. Uh-oh. Why does he talk about eating and drinking? Because when you chew mushrooms, you're going to take a drink. Trust me. Said he to thee, but his heart is not with thee. Hold up. But his heart is not with thee. So his mind is not with thee. Why would his mind not be with thee? Huh? Why would his mind not be with you? Why? Because somebody else's mind is in a different place. So that this, 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 let me explain because this could be used in two ways. The left hand side and the right hand side. So this also goes down to when you with your enemies. For as a man thinketh, so is he. So if he's against you, eat, eating and drinking, you got to, you know, be careful. He trying to hurt you. Says he to thee. He'll tell you to eat and drink like he's trying to be nice. Said to he, but he in his heart is not with thee. He's giving you a gift to destroy the heart. OK, to try to destroy your mind. He ain't with you. But remember, this also goes as a man, as he thinketh in his heart. So is he. So however you think about yourself, that's how you're going to be. However your enemies think, that's how you got to understand there's a left hand and a right hand side. That's why we keep teaching you. On well, these verses, you better teach both sides so people understand what the fuck is going on. You just teach, oh, as a man think it's so is he. So however you think about yourself, so is that. Also, as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he, as in your enemy. He eat and drink with you, like he might eat and drink with you, and say it's he to thee. You know what I mean? Like, eat and drink. Like, he might tell you, eat and drink. Like, give you a gift. But his heart is not with thee. So he's not fucking with you like that. But remember, also, if it comes down to the shrooms, I'm telling you, to the mushrooms, as a man thinketh in his heart, in his mind, so is he. So when he gets creative, he eat and drink. They tell you, eat and drink. But his heart is not with thee. So he... May be on shrooms or mushrooms or on something else. But he ain't thinking the same thing. So either way. So that goes back to where you're like, it's whatever the man was thinking about on the manna. They may have given the manna to somebody else. Like, here, eat and drink. You guys can be like, no, 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 that's not what it means. If he gives it to him and he says, eat and drink. If he's on manna and he can think about and have whatever his liking is. His mind is not the same as the other guy's mind. No matter how you try to play this verse and say, oh, that's not what it means. Yes, the fuck it is. Because it means more than one thing. You have to understand the scriptures. Okay? You have to understand it on both sides. The left-hand side, meaning your enemies. And even on the right-hand side. Even if they're your friends. Even if they're your friends. Even if your friend, yo, it, it doesn't matter what it is. It could be just regular food. You know what I mean? Still, you can use that too. You got to understand this totally. He doesn't mean that the person's with you. Even if they say, here, eat, drink this, the heart ain't with you. You know what I mean? Their mind ain't with you. They may just be doing it to get something about it. You got to understand it on both sides. Okay? So your mind, get it, your mind. So what did they say in that scripture? That it was however they mind thought. That's what old boy said. It was chicken and waffles. This is coming out of GMS. GMS. I said that. He said it was chicken and waffles. Okay, so. Like we tell you. Yeah, manna is mushrooms. There's nothing that you can say or do about it, bro. There's not. I mean, you could try. You could try, but it. I mean, it is. It is, man. Man, I'm about to just wrap this up. See? Most High does all the healing of all the diseases. He does that. Not necessarily do you need herbs for healing, but hey, he created it for the healing of the nation, for the people.
Ah, oh, man, where? Oh, yeah, that's the verse I'm looking for. Yeah, let's just go Genesis. I know it's in Genesis. So, I'm going to pull one more verse. So, he divided the firmament, the waters, the earth and the land, the seas. Evening and morning, morning is evening. The lights, let's go down. Where is it at? The firmament, the lights, the seeds, above creatures. Be fruitful and multiply the beasts of the earth, cattle. Multiply. Uh, created man in his own image. All right, so be fruitful, multiply. This one I ain't given every herb bearing seed. And be shall meet every beast of the earth, fowl. Damn, there's another verse I'm looking for. Well, you get the point. Well, hopefully you get the point. If you don't, I, I don't know what the fuck to tell you. Because it's, it is barren seed, so you can eat it. You can have it. Now... Like I said, if it's causing you issues, then it's not meant for you to have. Remember that. Like everything ain't for everybody. So just because the Bible says that you can have it doesn't mean that you should have it. <laughs> Remember, I said I'm going to teach you the right and the left hand side. I'm going to tell you the truth. Just because the Bible says you can have it doesn't mean that you should have it. Or that you deserve to have it. It may not be for you. Remember that. It may not be for you. Not everybody's body is built the same or acts the same off of stuff. It may not be for you. So, if you take it and it causes you to have problems and start going out committing crimes and adultery, then it ain't for you. Oh, snaps. What does it say right here? Oh, here we go. This is what I was looking for. And Yahweh said, this is verse 11, the earth bring forth grass and herb yielding seed and the fruit tree yielding fruit after its kind, whose seed is in itself upon the earth. And it was so. And the earth brought forth grass and herb yielding seed after its kind and the, tr and the tree yielding fruit whose seed was after itself after his kind. And God, Yahweh saw it. It was good. So if it's good, then it's good. You can't say that it's bad. But it doesn't mean that it's for you. Okay? Just because I believe in the herbs of the field doesn't mean I don't like marijuana. I don't ever like marijuana. I ain't ever really like it. I could do it sometimes, but I don't like it. I don't like the way it makes me feel. And I ain't talking about smoking it. You're supposed to eat this stuff. It's good for food, for meat. Eat. I don't believe in lighting the fires. When you're doing the heroin, you're injecting that shit. That's all witchcraft. You're supposed to use that, that leaf. Put it on your bruises. You're supposed to wet it. Put it on your bruises. Let it absorb like that. You're supposed to take the cocoa leaf. Make it in the tea. I believe in the teas, making oils, CBDs, things that's going to heal you. There's natural ways. It's okay if you make incense out of it and you smell the sweet savors. Marijuana has a great smell. But do I like the way it feels? No, I don't. Personally, I don't like it. So, I mean, but, you know, it says to worry about your own salvation. Maybe it's not healing for me, but for somebody else, it may be healing. So, so this is Philippians before I go, 2 and 12. 
Where, wherefore, my beloved, thou would die, as ye have always obeyed, not as in my pre presence only, but now much more in my absence. So even when you, you think he ain't there, you still got to be behaving. Work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. With fear and trembling. With fear and trembling. So, when you do the herbs of the field, with fear and trembling. You know, make sure you know that you're doing it for your spiritual healing. Your cleansing of your body. Drinking wine. Drinking your own urine. <laughs> you know, like people going to be like, drink your own urine. Yeah, drink your own urine. Proverbs 5 and 15. Drink waters out of thy own cistern and rod running waters out of thy own well. Boom. That's why 17 says, y'all going to be like, no, 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 that's not what it means. 17 let you know it's what it means. Let them be only thy own, not strangers with thee. Only your own. <laughs> Let thy fountain be blessed and rejoice with wife of thine youth. Bram, do you never notice that in other countries, the woman actually drinks the man urine? Oh, man. Why is that? Oh, man. Y'all going to be like, oh, that's Eastern culture. <sighs> Even with this whole coronavirus thing, when they was like, oh, you drinking cow pee. Cows only drink, eat fucking what? I mean, I wouldn't drink the cow pee. But I'm just saying that cows only eat grass. It's going to be a whole bunch of fucking enzymes in there. They eat grass and drink water. <laughs> so, kind of looks... Stupid. <laughs> Drink from thy own cistern. It says, let her be thy loving hand in pleasant row. Let her breast satisfy thee at all times and be thou ravished always with her love. Mm. Ravished with that pussy. But hey, you supposed to probably drink drink her titty milk too. Um, you should go suck that titty milk out. You got a baby, suck that titty milk out. Why? Because milk is good from you. That's your own sister, and you own them titties. But hey, you know what I mean? Let thy fountains be disappeared abroad and rivers of water in the streets. Why? Because everybody was peeing all over, bro. <laughs> but y'all ain't going to get it. The, actually, the best time for you to actually drink your own urine would be like, let's say you had a night where you were fucking hungover, or you went out drinking that next morning, that first pee, because you're pissing out all your vitamins and your enzymes. You should put that shit right back in your body. And guess what? You pissing out all your antibodies. That's what. That's why when you get sick, the first thing you do when your body gets sick is piss out the antibodies. You should drink that piss. Right away, your body will naturally start healing because you're putting the antibodies right back in your body. But you guys will be like, no, you're just getting rid of sickness. You're fucking stupid. I'm just let y'all know that one more time. You're fucking stupid. You forget. It says, how, look, man, he says, ye are gods. Ye are gods. How do I keep telling you to create, man? I tell you, swallow the fucking seeds. Dig a hole in the ground. Shit and piss. In that hole and cover it up. And that plant will fucking grow. Because it's fertilized. But you won't get it. Because you are an ecosystem yourself. Ye are a god. Only gods create other gods. Only gods can create this earth. Only gods can heal this earth. Man. Y'all don't get it man. This is your god. Children of the most high. Do I gotta pull this verse? Since y'all don't fucking. Y'all be like. You gotta pull the verse. <laughs> Hey, bro, 
you guys hear this, make sure if you got a wife, she ain't no virgin, bro, get rid of her. You commit adultery. Oh, no, nah, you're going to think with your own dick. Remember, y'all niggas acting so tough. If the most high is not, remember, y'all say the most high is not dealing with you. If he has not delivered you from a woman, Man, where is that verse? <sighs> Man, I wish I knew where that verse was. It says, bless. Man, I wish I knew what that verse was, man. It's like, blessed is he who's delivered from, who's, who's delivered from the woman. You know what I mean? From the woman, you are blessed. You are blessed. So you men that still got women. <laughs> you still got women right now. There ain't no virgins. You ain't got that bill of divorce. Remember, you're doing all this shit talking. Remember, you committing adultery. That's why the Bible says during Isaiah 4 and 1 that his men shall get virgins. Yes, there's going to be women that come along. Their husbands will be dead. Or yes, they were whores or something like that. They'll be saved. But you regular women that's jumping from dick to dick, now you're going to get put to death, bro. You can't you can't get up on a chariot without a man of the Lord. That ain't how it go. So for all y'all that be like, yo, the most high is not dealing with y'all because you're talking about stuff like herbs of the field and all that. You're, you're 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 a joke, man. Remember, he says, "Eat the whole roll." Moreover, he said unto me, "Son of man, eat that thou findest. Eat this roll, and go speak unto the house of Israel." So eat the roll. So if Yahweh said. It was good, the herbs of the field. And he said that all the herbs of the land, then it's good. But remember, blessed is he who's hated for his name's sake, the ones that tell you the truth. So, I mean, A, it's on y'all if y'all want to accept it. But if y'all want to stay with those wicked-ass women of yours that you paying to hire your prostitute, your wife, I don't give a fuck if she got her head covered. She's a prostitute. She is a whore. She is a bitch. <laughs> and your kids, if you got kids with her, oh, fuck. If you got kids with her, man, shit. That sucks. You know what I mean? Well, maybe if, you know, they from your seed and you keeping it right. I don't know, man. I mean, he says he's going he's gonna to cover your kids if you're righteous. But maybe that's why you escaped from her. You committed adultery, you didn't know. Maybe he wink at it. Maybe he'll wink at it. But y'all got to, y'all can't keep her, man. You can't keep fucking her unless you get that letter, bro. Otherwise, you just keep in this in. You keep committing adultery. You got to get rid of her. You'll be blessed. Get rid of her. Send her away. If she be like, I can't find him, she better get to looking. She ain't even your wife. You can't even tell her what to do. You can't even tell her what to do. And that's sad if she go back to the other dude, too. <laughs> but y'all going to be like, no, we got kids. We got kids together. We ain't breaking up this family. We got kids together. We got kids. I mean, did he abandon her? Because I know there's scriptures about abandonment. But you can't just be like, oh, he abandoned her. That was, that, that, was, that was it. You better get that letter. You better get that letter. You better get them letters, Art. Right? 
Ah. Uh, so don't talk shit about us like, oh, that's why your wife left you. That's why your wife was just, <laughs> that's why y'all split up. Because you wasn't a good man. Because you wasn't taking care of the business. No, you just hired a whore. A real man is not going to pay for shit for no woman that won't listen. You don't give her shit because she don't, she don't deserve it. You treat her like a kid. They just kids with titties. But hey, y'all, y'all come in adultery. You made her into a whore. Whew, man, you, y'all just breaking laws. And let me guess, you and I bought this bitch a house. So let me show you what you did too. You bought this bitch a house. And did the most I tell you today? He said, build your garden first. So you fucked up again. Come on. What do you say? <laughs> King James, prepare thy work without and make it fit for thyself in the field. And afterwards, build thine house. Did he say go get in debt? Y'all go get in debt for these women. Did he tell you get in debt? He said to do your outside work. Build your field. What was your commandment? He said to sweat from the brow of your eyes, right? Was your ass, is your ass sweating by the brow of your eyes? He said to sweat. You're supposed to be out there. You're supposed to be out there. Sweating. And the sweat of thy face shall be. Thou eat bread. Till thy return to the ground. Damn. For out of it waste thou taken, where you was taken, for thus art unto him shall thou return. Woo! So you gonna return there. Hey man, I'm just saying. Don't worry, Akim. I ain't saying nothing that I ain't gotta deal with too. I got a daughter with a woman, but he delivered me from her. So, you know, I'm delivered. Adoram Ratizah, the Most High, will allow my daughter not to see hell. So I ain't just telling you something that ain't true for all of us. You know, we all got to go through this shit. But you need to get delivered from these wicked ass women. You let this woman jump from dick to dick to jump to you. That ain't right. That ain't right. That ain't right. So, I'm about to watch a movie. Shalom, yeah, how about Shimmy? I'm sorry.